Beware all who scare easily. Beware all who sleep. The Frightening Fields family is about, so don't make a peep. All Hallow's Eve is creeping up on us, and so is the Fields family funeral homes. Terror on 20th. Death in every corner, and only time will tell if you make it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> Once a year the full moon glooms, children dress in costumes. Jungle lanterns come alive and sing this ghoulish tune. But before the ghouls and ghosts rise from their graves, a month of planning is at play. This is my Christmas. You know, when, when my wife's asking me, well, what do you want for Christmas? I'm looking up Halloween props. Jason Fields, his wife Dawn, and about 30 volunteers make this haunted house happen every year. There's no way we could pull off something this big without friends. What started out as a small, creepy cemetery has grown over the past 17 years. But again, we're constantly building things, so it's just my hobby during the year. Tombstones, skeletons, spiders, caskets, complete with a hearse named Morticia. How many decorations, you ask? That's impossible to say. Brave souls are encouraged to come out on Halloween night to walk among the dead. Only on Halloween night, from dusk until 10 p.m. We're standing inside where there's going to be a lot of surprises. The the pallet maze is the grand finale of the haunt. So enter if you dare, but beware. <coughs> if you don't want to live among the dead, it'll do you good to bring canned food to get in and to get out. We want to be that house. We want to bring Halloween back to the families. <laughs>